Welcome back. Today we're gonna do this awesome makeup look. My mermaid for under the sea type look. I love how this came out. I think it was so much fun recreating this look for you guys. So if you wanna know how I got this under the sea mermaid, just keep watching. Okay, so jumping into the video, we're just gonna start off by tanning our mermaid look. So I'm just gonna take this Sephora bronzing mist and just spray my body. And this is just gonna bronze up our whole naturalness. Naturalness. Have her dark because our mermaid is usually sitting in the sun 24 seven and we are in the middle of October. So we're just going to bronze up her whole entire body. But because this is just a tutorial, I'm not gonna bronze my whole body. I'm just gonna bronze this and up. Let me grab some bobby pins and pin back my hair. And just wipe that off. Ooh. And this look, I also got it off of Pinterest. And I wanted to do a mermaid look because I love mermaids. I think they're so gorgeous with their long hair and their beautiful bodies and just glowing skin. Very chic. I've been dying to do a mermaid look for so long. I was gonna go to Michael's and get a, obviously like a bra and then get like um, shells and stuff like that. You can make the costume yourself, but I just didn't have any time. So I just grabbed a shirt like this or you can grab something like sea green and stuff like that. Just stuff that a mermaid would usually wear. The Shadow Insurance by Too Faced. And I'm just going to put this on the lid of my eyes. And you would want to use a primer for this look because you don't want the shadows to crease. So make sure you guys get a good primer. And you don't want the makeup to run, especially if you're going to be out all night long. So I'm just rubbing this with my fingers because it would melt the makeup off very easily. You can use a brush, whatever you like. This look off, I'm going to use yellows, pinks, purples, and blues. These are the only colors that I want to use. And then I'll use like silver glitters and metallic colors. So these are just makeups that you can literally find in your room. There is going to be absolutely no paint in this tutorial. So you can use this makeup like an everyday look a glam look, a, you know what, I'm feeling myself look, so whatever. So first I'm gonna start off by a base. I'm just gonna grab a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to grab this shade, which is Custard by Anastasia. And to just put this as a base eyeshadow. So the reason why we do a base eyeshadow because we don't want Nothing to crease, of course, but we want to place a shadow over the primer itself. So this is a cool tip that you guys can do. It's very simple and it's very easy. And it's usually a light color or a color you want to transition to. So we are just gonna put this as a big black brush and I'm going to grab the yellow shade from this palette, from the Z palette that I have. And this is called Honey Bake and this is from Morphe. So grabbing this Morphe shade and I'm just going to put it in the inner corner of the eye and just the dab it in the corner. So bringing it out a little bit. What you can do so it can become a foiled shade, I'm gonna grab a setting spray and just spray the brush. And then grabbing that same shade and just placing it in the inner corner of the eyes. And this creates a foil. And this is going to make it more pigment and more vibrant and such a gorgeous shade. 
So this is just going to make the eyeball pop a little bit. I've recreated so many looks on YouTube, on Pinterest. You just make it your own. You create it your own, your own look. So grabbing another flat defined brush, I'm going to spray this as well. And I'm going to grab this beautiful teal color and this is called Aloha. Blending brush, Dancing Queen. But before we do that, I'm actually gonna grab a piece of tape because I don't want this to be messy. I want this to be defined and precise. Be any type of tape, but I use this tape because it doesn't grab to the hairs of my face. This is just like a regular masking tape, not a big deal. So now that you look like a freak show, you want to start buffing this out. And using the tape, it's pretty cool because you can go past this line and you know when you rip off the tape that it's going to be perfect. But I'm mostly really going in it in the very corner, like dabbing and then brushing it out and bringing it upward just to diffuse that shade. This one I'm more drawn to, so I'm gonna grab this purple and see how it goes. I'll wing it. Wing it, ding it. This Almay one. Face Power of Makeup. This palette, I'm obsessed with. I love the colors, they're very pigment. I'm gonna go in there with Wham Bam, which is a purple shade. Going back in there with that yellow shade. Basically putting the yellow shade into the inner corner, touching the inner dot purple shade right on top. So I'm just gonna buff that out. Move slowly the tape. And this is where we get that nice crease look. I'm just gonna add some mascara. The mascara we're using today is Better Than Sex. And Beauty Blender. Taking my Laura Mercier, I'm just gonna set my under eye with this. Let this bake. Let this bake, girl. That's it, we're gonna do the brows. Grab my brow whiz and just fill in the brows. And since we're making her very glamorous and shiggy deek, we wanna make this fierce. These brows got a little fierce, girl. Did the lash and wing. So going back, I was using like a mirror and I was just like, I want some blues in there. Face palette in Majestic Hour, taking that blue shade and just this part right here. And uh, we are bringing down this purple shade and blue shade. I'm just mixing it from that palette and just bringing it downward. Just dusting off the excess. With the Nikki palette, it came with this little glitter and I've been dying to use it, of course. This glitter is gorgeous, guys. So I'm just taking it with my brush on the lid, the cap, and I'm just going to place this in the inner. That's what we're doing, you know? We're just being extra. And then, of course, we are capping this back on because we don't want to make a mess. That's a no. We got lick up by the boat, no. Disrespect the life, that's a no. Now comes the fun part, guys. This is when we're doing the makeup on the face. So, don't laugh. I grabbed this little net piece. What you can do is grab, like, a sock that has, like, these holes. I grabbed this one because this is the one I found in my basement. <laughs> so, I'm going to grab this. And this is, this is going to look really creepy, but... 
don't mind me my scales on this side and this side right here so I'm just gonna if I can see I look like I'm gonna rob something brush like this and I'm gonna grab the purples the blues and then I'll grab silvers as well so I'm just gonna grab the purple first from that same palette I'm just going to place it on here and I'm just going to dab it like this and the reason why I'm pressing is because I want the squares to come out very defined so I'm going in there with the blue and I'm just gonna do a little bit with the blue not too much not too much over the purple on this side as well and make sure it's flat when you're doing it that way the scales come out really cool my mani palette I'm gonna grab this add that as well I'm gonna add that to my neck so we're just going to lift this up I'm just going to pop out my collarbone Anastasia palette, I'm going to grab hard candy, put it on my nose, and this has purple undertones in it, so it's really pretty. I'm going to put this as well on my brow bone. Okay, for lips, I couldn't decide what to do, so I'm going to mix and put a gloss over it. So I'm going to first take this shade by Melted, Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks, and this is in the shade Child Star. Queen Bee. The Mario Badescu setting spray. To set my face. Get that hydration going. And then I'm just going to grab my NYX Butter Lip Gloss. What I'm gonna do is put my hair, and I already curled my hair a little bit, but I'm gonna take my sea salt spray, and I'm just going to put it on my roots, scrunch it into my head. This is going to lift our hair, make it look beachy and wavy, and like we just went into salt. Like a puddle of salt spray. We just ran into the beach. I would right now like scoop this up and put like a star in my hair or something like that. But I don't have any, but most likely I would do something like that and then I would wear like the bra with the seashells and like all that stuff. But this is what I had laying around. So yes. And then I'm just going to grab my hair and just take a bobby pin. So this look is just all about messy, messy, messy hair. And I'll also put this on my shoulders. I want the shoulders to stand out a lot. And I'm just contouring my light. This mermaid needs some highlighting. Her highlight on fleek. And this wraps up our video for the mermaid Halloween tutorial. I was so aware the eye makeup. And if I could wear this all day, I would. People will make fun of me because whatever. But I really love how this came out. I think this is so much fun and different. And if you're definitely going to rock this makeup look or recreate this, please tag me in it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And I don't think I have anything else much to say, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time.